Hi there, I'm Evelyn Gallardo, the author of the upcoming book, Voices from the Mist, The Last Days of Diane Fossey, and the founder of Be Your Own Hero. And today I want to welcome you to Gorillas Fact or Fiction, and today's episode is Do Gorillas Have Harems? Mountain gorillas live in groups that vary in size, but can reach up to 50 members. This is group five. Mighty, wonderful beasts is what Diane Fossey called mountain gorillas. This is the study group we visited most when we were at Karasoki in 1985. So each group is led by a mature male distinguished by a silver saddle of fur across his back that begins to appear around the age of 12. So the silverback's main job is to defend the group and see to their well-being, as I well know because I was charged by a gorilla once. It's pretty frightening. You see how he's pounding his chest in this photo? They really do pound their chest. They cup their hands uh, and pound their chest, and it sounds like puck, 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 puck kind of a hollow sound. But let me tell you, I dropped to the ground and I whimpered like a puppy when that happened. And the silverback just looked at me like, oh brother, she's not worth bothering with and walked off. In addition to the silverback, mountain gorilla groups consist also consist of females and their offspring. This is Effie and her baby Mahani from group five. I swear, when I took this photo and Mahani turned and looked into my eyes, my heart melted. Also in the group are blackbacks, who are males who are sexually mature at nine years, but they haven't developed that silver saddle of fur on their back yet. Now, when a blackback reaches full maturity, He's usually run off by the silverback to keep him from mating with his females and weakening his gene pool. So yes, mountain gorillas do have harems. Now the silverback, as you can see, is the center of attention. He makes all the decisions, determines group movements, mediates conflicts, and locates food. Now what they're doing here is they're grooming and grooming strengthens the bond within the group. Have you ever wondered what gorillas are looking for when they groom? It's bits of dried skin, insects, and vegetation. Yummy. Nap time for mom means playtime for offspring. Guess who wins? Baby gorillas are absolutely irresistible. Something has caught this one's eye. He looks as if he's saying, what's going on over there? Come on, let's go have a look. This is exactly why the silverback runs black backs away from the group. Here, Pablo's taking advantage, even when there are witnesses. Did you know that gorillas share 98% of our human DNA? Isn't that astounding? Okay, folks, wait for it. Wait for it. Here's proof, folks. As Diane Fossey used to say, mountain gorillas are mighty wonderful beasts. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Gorillas Factor Fiction. So if you enjoyed Do Gorillas Have Harems, please share it with your friends.